What's up everyone? So today I'm going to show you guys how you can make your door sound uh, a lot better, uh, have better sound deadening, all for under $20. So a little bit of the backstory, basically BMW decided that they wanted to build a lightweight uh, quote unquote sports car and uh, in order to keep it lightweight they decided that sound editing wasn't worth doing in these doors. And so basically you get these doors that sound like they're going to fall off every time you open or close them. Just for reference, here's the sound that the door makes before. It sounds pretty terrible. And you could hear this as well. Sounds like nothing in there, right? That's because there isn't. BMW also decided that it was a bad idea not to have any sound deadening. So in the later years in this car, uh, they actually did put that sound deadening, which de definitely makes the car feel more upscale. I'm pretty sure even my 96 Camry has more sound deadening in the doors than this car does. So basically what you want to do is go to Home Depot. You can find this stuff under building materials. This material here is exactly the same stuff that you would buy from, for example, Fat Mat or I guess Second Skin. These are the names that I've been hearing from doing research. And I thought that this was a great idea because you get 12 and a half square foot of this stuff for $17 I got it for. Uh, versus like $15 for five square feet uh, from even the unbranded ones on eBay. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna put some sound deadening in these doors and hopefully it'll make the ride quality and the comfort levels a lot better. Once you have the door panel off, the first thing that we're going to do is uh, take off this seal right here. I wouldn't unplug the airbag if I were you um, because I did that and now I have an airbag light that I got to get turned off. I'll probably figure out how to do that on IMPA and work that out. To get this off, you probably need a razor blade to get the butyl sealant off. All you really need is enough space to get your hand in there. As you can hear and see, there's no sound deadening. So we're just basically going to clean it and then put some uh, repair tape in it. By the way, this stuff is actually 59 mil, which is even a little bit thicker than the standard 50 mil that you can buy. Uh, obviously not as thick as the 80 mil, but uh, for a fraction of the price of Dynamat, I think this is a much better value than actually going full out unless you're actually doing a build or something like that. So take a second to just appreciate how much of a difference this makes. So this side is the side that I've done already. Okay, and listen to this. Sounds like a solid door. Now take a second to listen to the other side and you'll know why this is worth every penny. Sounds like a tin can versus definitely worth the less than $20. So while I already have the door panel off, I'm also going to add some inserts onto the door here to help with this sound, the plasticky sound.
right, so as you might imagine, you do the same exact thing to the other side, and that's how you create good sound deadening in your doors for less than $20. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below, or I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.